All right, this demo is going to talk about how to uh, create some different effects using solids and lens flares and turbulent displacement. So something along what you're seeing here, just at the most basic form. Uh, so what I'm going to do first is just get a new, I'm actually going to go new composition. And I'm just going to call this video demo. And I'm going to, in here, just go up to window and I'm going to, rearrange my workspace to reset it so it's back to normal okay. and what I want to do is create a new I have my new comp I believe oh, let me make my new comp right here okay there it is um, and first thing we want to do is we're going to bring in a solid so I'm going to go layer make sure I'm down on my timeline layer new solid and I'm going to pick a color for right now I'm going to start with black I'm going to hit OK all right, so the couple of things we're going to mess with on this, we're going to drag, drag some effects on here. So we're going to go to effects and presets, and we're going to look up lens flare. I'm going to drop that on. You're going to see that come up here in your effects and controls. If you can't see that ever, um, right here is your effects and controls. So if you ever can't find it, um, you can see right away, you can see the lens flare on there. It may take a minute to kind of load up, but um, what you can do here is change some of these settings so specifically flare brightness um, you can mess with the lens type some of these other settings I'm not even really sure so it's blending it down change my center point okay and I'm just kind of you know play around and see what you can do you can also keyframe these things so we'll talk about that a little bit later I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna actually go into Turbulent displace. Take that and drop that down. Immediately you're going to see some effect, but the ones you really want to mess with here are complexity. It really starts making it look weird. And evolution will make it look a little bit weirder. Uh, you can mess with other things though, too. So you can go and mess with the amount of it. All right, what's the size of the displacement? And you can see how that's kind of altering. And it really what we're kind of creating is like a, an interesting backdrop here. All right, so I have that one on. And then what I'm going to do next is I'm actually going to duplicate this black solid. And I'm going to call this solid 2. And this one, let's see, did that not work? Okay, we got solid 2. All right. And on this one, I'm going to go and put on another filter. So it has those other two. I'm going to go and put on fill. So I'm going to put fill on there, and immediately you're going to see a difference. Okay. And the difference is the color fill. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to change it to teal, or you know, another color. Um, you and it, it'll default to one. Um, so obviously this is covering it up. We don't see anything. Um, this can be keyframeable as well. So if I wanted this to change, but the big thing I'm going to go and do here is right click. Go to blending mode and then change it to one of these different ones. Okay, let's see what, what does color burn look like. All right, kind of looks cool. There's no movement right now. All right, um, let's just to get a different effect. All right, so let's see maybe another color will look a little bit better on there. Oh, that looks kind of nice. All right, now I could keep duplicating these as well. So there's my black solid again duplicated, and let's displace it. So I move it over. Go on to this new one and just mess with the lens brightness, turn it down a little bit, and then I'm also going to change that flare center to move it over. So that's on black solid two. I'll call this one teal solid. And so right now, no changes, but I just have kind of this you know visual setup. Um, so what we can do is I'm going to go to my uh, this one and also I'm going to change the blending mode there and just see what I can do. What does overlay do? All right, it gives me this look. Okay, right click, blending mode. What does vivid light do? Okay, it gives me a different look. So you're kind of seeing that these are just giving you different options to kind of play around with. Um, some of them obviously look better than others, and you can play around. Okay, so I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, this is all keyframe wool. So what I'm going to do is. First on my black solid, I'm going to keyframe 
my lens flare. So turn on keyframe for brightness and maybe lens flare. I'm saying, okay, at this point, D there, by the time four seconds comes in, I want that lens flare to move across and I want its brightness to drop a little bit, okay? Now it's gonna take a minute for this to render. You see it's gonna go a little bit slow at the beginning, but then I'm keyframing that movement, okay? Let's go, let's go do it to the next one. All right, on this one, I'm gonna say, okay, keyframe that stuff. I'm gonna say at the beginning, look like that, and then by the time it gets to here, I want that lens flare on that one to be on the other side, kind of so sliding it left. So we've done a lot there to kind of mess with it. So I'm getting some visual changes and it's kind of like this cloudy gas looking thing going on here with some light sources. And another thing I could do is also um, keyframe my turbulent displacement. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna turn on complexity and evolution. I'm gonna say, all right, at that point, look like that at this point, shift that around to the other side and maybe drop it a little bit. Um, let's see what does the amount do if I keyframe that too. Okay, what would the size do? Okay, zero versus there. Pump that number up. Okay, and there's a lot going on here so this thing's gonna take a minute to render, but you're seeing those changes. It's just a way to create like, kind of an interesting background if you so choose to. You can bring in other images and pile them on top. What I'm gonna do though is just go ahead and type right there. Click out and I'm just gonna type thickest thickest production. So then I'm gonna shrink this down. Oops. I'm gonna go to I'm just gonna center this layer transform center anchor point and I'm just gonna shrink this up so it looks better. Uh, to change your font. You can go over here to your character. Try out some of the other ones. <clears throat> and I'll change my, actually I'll leave my stroke and I'll just change my fill color. I'm just gonna move that up on top, so that's kind of the focus there. And get rid of that some more. Just going in with my type tool, and I'm just gonna edit this thing a little bit. So going back, I'm just gonna put it on one line, and kind of just put it in place there. Just get it up. Now for this, I'm gonna have um, another solid be created so I'm going to go layer new solid it's okay it's going to black it out but what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this transparent so right click go to blending mode let's go screen okay and then on this layer I'm going to do let's see where's our effects effects and presets I'm going to go into lens flare that onto this layer and I want that thing to be pretty bright there it is okay so I'm gonna say at that point be zero don't even be visible and I'm gonna have it oops I'm gonna create a keyframe for my lens flare. Oops, I should probably take that off and put it at the beginning. So, flare center, flare brightness. So what's gonna happen is this thing's gonna be moving in the background. Maybe I actually want my lens flare to be off screen starting. And then I'm gonna 
just say okay. And then I'm going to have, right, between there and here, probably not even that long, I'm going to have my lens flare brightness increase greatly, and I'm going to have it move across. Screen. So what will happen is now this thing will... having trouble kind of bringing it out here, but it's going to get bright and kind of black out my screen or white out the screen. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my biggest productions thing kind of start at that max point right here. I'm going to move my text over so that this thing will just be nothing there. And then this thing will happen. And then I'll say like maybe almost immediately afterwards on my lens flare, I'm going to go ahead and drop that brightness down and move it real far over to the left. That's kind of how it'll look. <clears throat> so for this to really work, you definitely need to make sure you're right-clicking and doing blending modes, your keyframing changes, and that's really what's going to get you the best result. And just thinking about, okay, what am I trying to do here? You know, like there, I thought the the thick is probably popped up a little bit early. And then boom. Okay, so if these need to be dried out a little bit more or changed, I can, I can make that happen. All right. And then probably last up here would be just kind of trimming up my work area. So I'd just say, all right, I'm gonna stop there. All right, and that's about a five second long bumper. Just kind of introducing my production company much more you can mess with in here, much more you can play with, but just a little uh, kind of tips and tricks for this uh, assignment.